All right, hello everybody, and welcome to uh, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX. Uh, I'm joined by Amp. Oh. And uh, we're going to be go going through a let's uh, well both a let's play and a live stream of this. This is going to both Twitch and YouTube. So. At least that's the plan. It should be. I, I don't know why it won't. Right. So, is English okay? Yes. No, you want Portuguese. I don't speak German. Really? <laughs> this game automatically saves your progress. Right. Whoa, a little loud there. Yeah, I could hear that. <laughs> I know, it picked up on the mic. That's why I turned it down. Smash invitation! Mm, not quite. <laughs> Although I'm sure there's plenty of people that would love... Uh-oh, Pelipper. <laughs> Pelipper got the smash invitation. No, why would you put Animal Crossing? Pelicans are the postal service. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world of Pokemon. Yes. But before I can before let you... Before I let you through, I have several questions for you. I want you to answer them sincerely. Are you ready? Okay. Let the interview begin. And I am done devouring the flesh of the shrimp. Good. Do you sometimes run out of things to do all of a sudden? Do you feel lonesome when you're alone? On vacation outings, do you go alone or go with others? Are you a cheerful person? Grab any digit on your left hand with your right hand. Okay. Which one did you grab? You like pranks. You get the feeling that you've slowed down. Hmm. Your friend fails to show up at the promised time. What do you do? Between these two, honestly. Gotta yeah, pick one. Yeah. <laughs> Are you a boy or a girl? Let's go with. You appear to be the relaxed type. Do you occasionally zone out and miss a bus? Do you find yourself dozing off? Or is it your reaction time is a little slower than others? That's not a bad thing. You can do things at your own tempo without feeling pressure. You can live a relaxed and unhurried manner without worries. I think that's a happy lifestyle to be envied, even. You're also surprisingly popular. The way you vacantly stare off into the distance. You should make that someone's special pulse heart race. A relaxed person like you should be... What kind of Pokemon are you? A Psyduck. 
Is that correct? Mm. <laughs> this is one of the ones that I was like, uh. Because I, uh, yeah. Mm. Well, it's up to you. Should I just take it? It's up to you. <laughs> well, then I'm going to try again. Would you like to be? Oh! It doesn't give me the test again. No, you get it easy peasy. Uh, well, I'm going to stick with water since... Since that's what I gave you? Yeah. But... Well, that's a nice compromise, I suppose. Yeah. Because normally I would pick Trico. Okay, and the final step is your partner. From this group. So, no other water Pokemon. Right. Ah, oh, I figured you'd have to pick Trico. Okay. Nah. I feel I feel like as a partner it'd be better to have a Chikorita for some reason. Really? I don't, I don't know why. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a girl. What is their What is their name? I know this is punny, but Chica? <laughs> I don't I know. I was thinking that, but uh, I literally thought that, but. Or Tora? Okay, not what I was going to expect, but okay. They're not the fire starter from Johto. What are you doing? <laughs> nope. They're the no fire starter from Johto. It's it's. Oh, I just it, realized I picked both Johto starters. It's uh, it's it, it's not gold. It's it, it's silver and Chris. Or I or I guess uh, heart gold, soul silver would be uh. Uh, Ethan, no, not Ethan. Uh, actually, no, it's still silver. Silver and um, Elaine. Was that heart? Was that the remake's name, Elaine? I don't remember. Maybe I don't know. This is you, by the way. Well, I feel a pleasant breeze. I hear a voice from somewhere. I wonder who it is. It's me. I'm here to tell you about the joys of hummus. For I am a chickpea Pokemon. I mean, you you do know that, right? Yeah. But a lot of hummus <laughs> has beans in it, too. Uh, it, it's it's chickpeas. It's, it's literally chickpeas. I know. I don't know what kind of hummus you're getting that has beans in it. Not like brown beans, but... Well, okay, the graphics are kind of weird. What's with, what's with the cat mouth? <laughs> it's a meow meow. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a storybook vibe, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Why am I in Yoshi's story? Where is this? This is the land of Paper Mario. <laughs> should, I, should I voice the Chikorita too? Uh, I guess I'll take it, I guess. Okay. You were passed out here. I'm glad to see you awake. I'm Claire. Happy to meet you. And you are? 
I haven't seen you around before. Okay. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you say you're human? But you look like... You look like an escaped prison convict from a mental institute. Like you want to bite me on the head. It's true. I've turned into a totodile. What is with that just dead stare? <laughs> I think I picked the... I think I actually picked the derpier option with Totodile. No, 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 no. Psyduck was the derpy option. Totodile was just like, I, I want to eat you. <sighs> oh, oh, okay. No, never mind. Never mind. You oh, can't close your mouth. <laughs> You're weird. I got. I just want to go home now. My name? That's right. My name is. I didn't ask what your name was. I came and named Phoenix. Omper. Oh yeah, we're doing some land before time homage here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could do that, but I think Chompy is better. Okay, your name is Chompy. Well, that's a really dumb name, especially if you are a human. Uh... Oh, somebody, I do declare, please help. Huh? I hear shouting. What's wrong? It's horrible. My caterpie fell into a cavern. My poor baby. What? A huge fish opened the ground and my caterpie fell in. He's too young to crawl out by himself. I went to get my baby Pokemon attack me. Huh? You were attacked? By other Pokemon? Why didn't you just use sleep powder? Oh, they must be enraged by the fish. You're out of control. That's what I... That's what I think. I'm not strong enough to fend off those wild Pokemon. Oh, well, become my baby. Raised by wolf Pokemon. Oh, Lord... See. <laughs> oh, what am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, sweet Arceus. This sounds bad. We have got to help. I love how I just agree and just... <gasps> oh, oh, wait. They removed that. I forgot. I remember you being able to say no, and if you didn't say no three times, you actually gamed over. <laughs> Gosh darn it, why'd they take that out? Could this be a mystery dungeon? It is! It is a mystery! Mystery dungeon is a truly mysterious place. The layout and items change every time you enter. You can proceed by using the stairs, but you'll have to find the stairs first. And do you remember the Butterfree and the Pokemon in, that, in the dungeon, right? Yeah. If necessary, we have to fight. Do your best. Okay. You can move in any direction. Use the move with A. Wait, you start off with Ice Fang? What? I guess. Oh, wait, that's right. If you just push the A button, it just lets you, um... You just kind of use whatever the game thinks is best. A you want to... Try pushing X. There, there it is, there it is. That's where you can manually select your moves. I'm a physical boy. I mean, it, the 
Yes, Totodile is a physical Pokemon. <laughs> Generally speaking. Ah. Burp. I dude it. Congratulations, you ate the burb. I am having chimkin tonight. Meanwhile, the chicorita is just stay in the corner, terrified as you just gnaw, gnaw on the pidgey feathers flying everywhere. Ah, oh, there's the stairs. And she's like, are you sure you're human and not some kind of monster? <laughs> what kind of monster are you? What kind of Pokemon are you? <laughs> Wait, what did that say? Oh, shit. I mean, I, I thought you were something the... about coins. Oh, yes, yes, de yes. Devour the bug. Pretend it is a shrimp. You picked up money. Okay, so I hold LZ. What does the bumpers do? Nothing. Uh, nothing right now, I would imagine. I'm so, honestly, I'm kind of surprised it lets you do anything that it, uh, without a uh, tutorial. Berry, basically a quick way to heal yourself. But okay, you so the potions. More or less. Press L to let the game play itself. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, Chikorita. To, to be fair, I do think you can adjust the AI. Like if, yeah, actually, yeah, I, I remember now. You can adjust the AI to where if you wanted to look for items or battling Pokemon or whatever you want to do. Otherwise, it'll just default to find stairs as quick as possible. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's kind of like uh, Disguise Six, where you can actually program the auto mode. Okay. At least I think there's a way to do it. So, this. Not nearly as advanced as the AI, you can literally program in Disguise 6, but it's, uh, it's got several, uh, modes for auto mode, I guess. Right. Ooh, you're in a, you're in a big empty room. Barrage. Damn, I forgot Barrage was even a move. I hadn't seen that since Generation 1, jeez. Oh. Oops. Uh, no, wait, uh, no, wait, L is the auto mode. Uh, what's the button? What's the rotate button? Try, try, ho try holding L, maybe? Uh, no, no, that's a cursor thing. I, I'm not, well, I'm trying to think. I don't know, it's really hazy between this version and the original game. There was a way you could hold a button and you could just kind of rotate your character if you needed to aim like diagonally or oh. something. But you, because because you know you don't want to take a step because it's like an attack of opportunity kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's a way to do it. I just do not remember. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Wait. Right that's gotta. That's, that's 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 gotta be it. Are you able this to like how, move? No. This is how you move diagonally. Like I can, oh. I can lock myself diagonals. Oh. Okay, I don't know then. It'll probably, it'll probably tell you eventually. Yeah. You know, I actually wouldn't be too surprised if somebody did a uh, modified D and D session for this. Like, you know, where you, where you play as Pokemon. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 this this, this kind of does follow a lot of the rules of, like, the D&D &D &D with the tile, moving around the Wait, tile. Wait, is there a dungeons. time limit? Time limit? No. Why would there be a time limit? Why is that number in the top? Why is that number next to my health going down? Oh, uh, well, that's your stomach stamina thing. Oh, right, there's a hunger meter. Yeah, there's a hunger meter, so if it goes empty... Uh, if, 
when it first goes empty, I don't think you really suffer anything, but as you continue to not eat, I think you start to take more damage or do less damage, and I think if you go... I think if it stays at zero for too long, you'll actually just start losing health instead of stamina, quote-unquote. Mommy, where are you? We came to rescue you. Huh? Your mom's waiting. Let's get you out of here. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. It was very woodsy, though. Oh, my baby's safe. This is the work of our Lord and Savior, Arceus. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, that's okay. It's been dangerous lately with sudden quakes and fissures like that. It was great to find your little boy unharmed. It's so happy. <laughs> what, the music? Everything. Oh, eh. <laughs> I'm Claire, and this is Chompy. Don't mind him. He won't bite. Much. He's just staring at me adoringly. Oh, crap. <laughs> but it doesn't feel too bad either. It's like I'm a hero. Oh boy. He starts his path to glory and fame. <laughs> and next thing next thing you know, we'll see a fur alligator stomping around with with the Bowser music. <laughs> 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 Please accept this thanks from our Lord and Savior. Tiny Reviver Seed. Oh, yeah. so if Claire goes down. Or you go down. Oh, I thought and if I went down it was game over. If there's a Reviver Seed, it triggers automatically. Okay. So, yeah. And 500 monies. Yes. And a Petcha Berry, which, uh, keep in mind, those are berries. So if you don't have any apples or any other food items, you can't eat those in a pinch. Okay. Well, I know it wouldn't be the best option, but it would be better than starving and literally losing health with every step. Right. <laughs> so. Listen, Chompy. If you don't have a place to stay, you can come with me. Well, this is the place. I can't explain, but I'm happy. There's so much water. Actually, it looks like it could carry the, all three types, except for maybe fire. Like a Charmander or something. I mean, I'm just going to give you a little hint. This this little hut thing actually does change. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So so if you are a water type like you are, you got that little sort of bungalow thing in the middle of a pond. If you are a more of like a normal type, like um, say if you were Chikorita, it's just going to be kind of like a field with a little hut. Uh, that also counts for like Pikachu, Meowth, all that stuff. If you are, I believe, um, fire type or like chop or cubone, you know, a mountain Pokemon, it's going to look all rough and rugged looking like it's a, okay. somebody just chiseled out a boulder. Yep. I'm just giving you this house. It even comes with a mailbox. Do you know what mail is? It's this fascinating invention that we just, that we recently made. <laughs> How do I write with my head? I don't have hands. How do I write? Oh wait, the vine whip. What am I saying? <laughs> That's my best guess. It's not. It's not like the leaf is a appendage necessarily. If anything, it's a big giant ponytail. 
sort of thing. Done deal. I'll get all the paperwork done, Mr. Mayor. I mean, I, I mean, Chompy. Yes, that was an Isabel joke. I'm sorry. Okay. The seedlings. Ah, uh, yes. You get to name your, the, your little squad. Seedlings is not very good. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I, I oh yeah, I, I mean, I think I went with Team Let's Go because I was I was I actually went actually got Pikachu and I just went with Eevee. That was funny. Oh okay. I don't know. I, I don't know. You could just do like the title says and be Team DX. <laughs> True. Um. Team Johto. <laughs> yeah, that might that works. I I think unlike in the original, you can like go back to the, the uh, title screen into the. Actually, that actually yes, I do remember. You can go back and change the names of you, your partner, and the uh, team name on the main menu. After a certain point. Oh yes, I forget. The scarf. Yeah. It's not so much a scarf as it is a bow tie for you, is it? <laughs> Same with her. Uh, fun fact, in the original one on the DS, there was a touchscreen functionality where you're supposed to put your finger and it, like, told you your, your, uh, nature. What, well, I mean, I kind of already did tell you your nature, but it told you your, like, quote-unquote aura or whatever, right? Which I don't know. I don't remember if it was just your. Careers. The... Yeah, careers. I'm going to be a Pokemon for the rest of my life. Oh boy. Congratulations. Welcome to your first Isekai, then. <laughs> Are you new here? <laughs> that's, that's how I got reincarnated as a Cayman. All right, everybody, that was uh, the first episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Um, this will be a ongoing series. Um, I'm going to try to leave it uncut for the most part uh, and just see how that goes. But I, it may not work out so well. So just let me know if it does or doesn't in the comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff you've heard a million times before, and I'll see you guys next time.